Alright guys, welcome to your 13th Java game development tutorial with Slick2D and in these next couple of series of videos what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very simple RPG game. Now this game is going to kind of have the feel of like Pokemon or like an old game on Nintendo like Zelda, something like that. But what it's going to be is it's going to be called Bucky Land. And it's going to be a little character named Bucky. And he's going to walk around his own little world and basically do whatever the F he wants. Because he's Bucky and it's his land. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download all the image files that we're going to be using in the game. Now, awesome for you guys. I already made all of the images and I stuck them in a folder. And they're able to download for free. So here's how you go ahead and get them. Go ahead and open up Google Chrome. It won't work on any other browser. Go to tnbforum.com and scroll down until you find the Java section. Go ahead and click that and then you're gonna see the topic right at the top that says Java game development with slick source code. Go ahead and click that one and now if you want all the source code for this game, it's uh, source code tutorials 12 to, I don't know, because um, I don't know how long the series is going to be, but it's going to be using those basically three classes, game, menu, and play. So if you don't want to wait and watch the series and you just want to go ahead and view the source code, maybe follow along that way, go ahead and get it all right here. But for now, what we are interested in is this buckyworld.zip. I know the game is called Bucky Land and this file is called Bucky World. Couldn't make up my mind. But anyways, go ahead and click this zip file. Oh, excuse me, got a hiccups. Go ahead and click that zip file, download it. And once you download it, you're going to have all of these images. So here is little Bucky character right here. Bucky has four different ways or four different images of him. His back, front, left, and right. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be animating animating him differently depending on which direction he's walking obviously and we just have two buttons for the main menu and the world which is basically his little home with his I don't know like an office building and a bunch of trees so again those are all the images that you need so in order to import those so you can use them in your game go ahead and expand hand blaster expand res and if you guys don't already have them in there just go ahead and highlight all of these and drag them in your res folder so now what we can do is we can go ahead and access them whenever we need them in bucky land game development so that is it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually start coding in the next video but before i do i want to mention this i basically cleaned everything out of the menu class and also the play class so as you can see the only basically line of code I have is just this return zero and return one like we did before and I also left everything this pretty much the same in the game class because you know of course just like the examples before this game is gonna have two states a menu state which is the main menu in the play state where you play the game and basically everything else is the same so there's no reason to touch that at all so again keep your game class the same and clean out everything in menu class and play class and once you do that and once you have all your images imported then you're ready to go ready to start developing probably the greatest RPG game ever made Bucky Land